Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on in to a Lego video video. Today we are going to be looking at an upcoming set that has been sent to me by Lego or Lan Early to do a review for. And this is set number 43115. This is the Boombox. And this set has... 996 pieces, comes with four minifigures, and will be retailing for $99.99 USD or $139.99 Canadian. Now here's where it gets interesting. All of the video sets will be available starting on August the 1st here in North America, but will be available in the rest of the world starting on June the 1st. And this is the biggest set in the wave, and I think that it's what a lot of people are most excited for. I actually really love the idea of this set and I think that what they've done here is really special. This new wave of video includes these new stages which unfortunately the app doesn't update until May the 28th so I can't actually test this out in the app but I think that this is what they should have started with for video. But without further ado, let's go ahead and let's go and take a closer look at this set. So here is the boom box and this is what it looks like all closed up. And I actually really love the design of this. It kind of gives me, as you'll see in a second, it gives me like Newt suitcases vibes as this thing begins to open up and you can see everything inside. But I really love the idea of this. This thing does transform into a stage, but because the whole theme of a video is about video movie making and just recording as you're out and about and making these videos like TikTok, having a stereo or a boombox here is kind of neat. Like you would carry around, you know, back in the old days, I'd say. But anyways, I really love the idea and execution of this. This has a very sturdy handle, very strong. The only complaint that I have about the exterior of this is as you spin it around, You've got all of this showing, which I think is a bit of a shame, but you can actually access this area as well by just sliding these panels open, which it does have this little back area, which like all the other stages have like this waiting room backstage area for all the performers, which is really neat. So again, I just wish that like while these colors look great from here, I'm not quite sure why they're there. You'll see in a second. It just maybe add another layer of black you're paying a hundred dollars for this set so i think that it definitely could have used one more layer of black back here to kind of cover this up so that it is complete from every angle and even these walls maybe should have been in black so to the left here we have this table with a couple of donuts as well as some popcorn in a silver bowl which is pretty neat you've also got like a pop can there and this beautiful looking couch. I really like the look of that. That looks neat. You've also got like some sort of trophy or award there. And then over here on this side, I am actually going to remove this because it looks really neat. You actually have this really cool looking print and it does appear in a couple of the other video sets, but it's so cool. I love this two by four print there. It's like, it could be a TV. It could be like just dance or even like those dancing games at the arcade, which you'll see and them use this piece for in another set. It's really, really cool. I love the idea of this. Like, I, I just think that it's pretty cool that each of the stages have like this back room area for your characters to kind of just sit around in and you could store them back here as well and like you saw with the right there the tv popped off same with the popcorn here but you all really want to see this and how it opens up first of all love this part here i really like the ingot pieces there used for that that looks so cool like buttons that you would push on here on a real boom box this print here on the Mario piece looks really cool as well. I love the stereo there. It looks really neat. And these just, uh, they can spin around, but they're not really meant to. They don't do anything. But let's go ahead and let's open this up. So what you do here is you lift from this colored part at the top and you lift it up, unlocking it, and you lower it down. And you can see there that you've got this giant head here. And I just want to show you this before we move on to the inside. You can actually rotate them around. And if you noticed, you can see it actually sticking through the glass there. So you can kind of see and pretend, I guess, that's the theme of the music that's actually going on when you're using the boom box. But lifting this up again, you can see how easy it is to open and close this. You can see how far it actually comes out, but there's nothing in the front here really besides these brand new 1x5 tiles. 
So besides this part opening up, you also have these side little areas that also open up and you can kind of angle them however you want to design like this really cool looking performance stage. And you could see here that I've already set the theme and you'll notice that each of these new stages have themes. The difference with this being that this is the only set to have four different themes. Video has a ton of different themes that they've created and you can see some of them in this themed after the characters. So here we actually have the one based off of the vampire and this is why there's like this red here red here I, i'm guessing that's blood but like there's like a bat here a bat bat and then these i can't really figure out which one belongs to which i think it's kind of just up to you but you could see that it's just easy and you're supposed to like match them up there so this is one theme and it's very easy to just flip on to the next theme there super super simple you just turn them around and you're set so there's the alien theme, and then here is the final theme there, the music sub theme, which again, I don't know about those, I don't know if they matter, but what it actually does is the app will actually scan, I think it, I'm just going to assume it's just this face and you have to turn these so that you kind of feel more immersed, but I'm pretty sure it just scans the face here at the top and it will set the background for your whole stage and music video in that themes like background so like right now we have it set to the tropical one so there'd be a ton of like palm trees and things like that and even bigger versions of these stereos included in the set you're probably wondering what all these rings are here and that's actually places for you to put your bandmates so right now like i said before we have it set to like the tropical theme so this is our main singer here and what you would do is you would have the rest of the crew just hanging about there, dancing, playing their other instruments, singing backup, doing whatever they want, all on these little stands here. And I really love the look of them. And again, it's just nice to have like these little rings here, almost like they're lit up. And I like the colors here for the inside of the boom box and how it lines up like having teal here and then yellow and then the beautiful coral. Oh my goodness, my favorite color. And if you didn't want to have them actually up front and playing the guitar, you could also put another figure here on the piano. And it looks really cool. You've got one keyboard there and another keyboard over there, which it looks really cool that is what the piano piece looks like and I just like the idea of that that they would run across there or maybe they're standing in the the middle there and they've just got super long arms but in behind here I do want to talk about this this beautiful looking music note I really love the way that that looks and how it is built onto this thing you can actually get access to the little back room there if you wanted to. So these tiles here are actually appear in a couple of different sets and specifically though these big ones are from the beat boxes and what you could do here is like right now I have it set to the bat theme I've gone ahead and taken the tile pattern from the new dragon beat box and you can actually put it inside there and have it line up there to give it this whole theme if you wanted to of the monster rock theme which is really cool so you can swap those out and this is just like a generic one i guess to represent all four but i think now i believe almost every theme has its own beatbox so you can go ahead and get those big tiles and decorate and customize your boom box to match your favorite theme here is the alien singer and it uses the exact same piece there from the alien beatbox and i think that it looks cool though here in the green transparent and it's got a bit of shimmer in and sparkles in there as well. I like the printing on there. I love the use of the Praetorian Guard armor there in the glittery green. That looks really cool. I really love the printing there on the torso and the legs, how that carries down. Even has feet printing. It comes with like a snowboard for some reason. And of course, since it is a singer, they have a microphone there, which isn't anything new. On the back, you could see the back printing, and it looks really cool, as well as what the head looks like in the back. I love all the spikes. And here is the Leopard Guitarist, and this is a brand new figure and a brand new mold for this wave of video sets. I really love the colors here, the dark hot pink with yellow and the bright blue there with the dark blue hair. It looks very nice, and the contrast is really cool. Love this guitar here as well. Well, I believe it is exclusive with like this zebra sort of 
those stripes there. It looks really cool in silver, but removing it, you could see, I love the pattern there on the legs. Looks really cool and how you could see the pattern there carried over onto the torso as well. This brand new headpiece is very detailed and I really like the tail there, how it has the printing on the side. But removing the head, you could see how the back printing looks there. It is just as detailed as it is on the front. Here is the vampire guitarist and he looks really cool using Cole's hair here. Very, gives me a lot of Vor Morbius vibes here. Looks really neat. Love this new guitar here. The mold, really, really cool as well as just the like the bat wings there looks really neat love that inclusion the torso printing the leg printing really really great and then you've even got a really cool looking facial expression there the tongue sticking out seems to be clearly a reference to kiss and the armor here in silver is pretty neat and on the back you could see that you've got like a lego bat printed on there in red looks really cool with like all the chains and then lastly here we have the fairy singer and she looks really great i think this hair piece has come in that color before nothing new there but the torso and leg printing is incredible same with the microphone nothing new there but this wing piece is actually brand new and it is introduced in this wave in a beatbox as well which you can get in a different color and just like the vampire guitarist, no back head printing, but really detailed back printing. I do have to show you this as well. And you might be wondering what this is. If you've never seen another video review or even the beatboxes, these are actually included in each of them. And what this does is with the app, it actually scans this. And I'm not sure how it'll work with the new wave and the new update. What you normally do here is you have your tiles there. And right there on screen, you could actually see all of the four exclusive tiles, one for each of the characters. And they all do different things like special effects, dance moves and things like that. Each color represents something else. But specifically, you take the figure here and this becomes your lead like band leader. And what that does is it scans the figure, puts them into the video. But I'm not sure because normally what you do is you scan this first and then you remove them. But now with these new stages, I'm not entirely sure what the process is. But if you're wondering, you can actually and you're meant to fill out all of these other spots here with the other special effects that you'd like to use in your video. So you tap them in the video maker, which you could see all of the tiles that I got from this wave here that appear randomly across all of these sets. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is my review of the largest video set to date. And I think that it's a really cool idea to have this real world object transform into a stage and I really love that it has all these spots for you to really grow your band and have all these figures dancing and playing music and all these different things everywhere and then you can transform the stage for the genre that you want to be showcasing and if you just want to try out video I definitely think that this is a great expansion for that that you would want for a stage I think it's a really intelligent idea and I'm excited to see what video has in store in the future but be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on all of the other LEGO Video Summer 2021 set reviews to come on the channel very, very soon. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.